I actually have negative numbers. <laughs> hey there. Where are we heading? <laughs> we get to play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking over to Daniel's company. USG People. One of the largest employers in, uh, in Antwerp. They like cobblestones here. Yes. Yeah, two goals. I want them to, I want them to identify the top, you know, 20 business mis uh, presentation mistakes that people make, and how to overcome those. So that's you and I interacting back and forth, etc., together. And the other one is the number one tool that's going to make a difference in terms of their presentations is their ability to tell stories. So those are two. Those are my two missions. All right, let's do this thing. Cool. <laughs> Ja, maar ja, wij moeten over een oplossing nadenken. Ik wij. Ed is out of his mind. He's got consultants dancing. Come on. <laughs> Pulled it off. I don't know how he did it. I was shaking my head thinking, not this group. He's Ed, Magic Ed. When we spoke about the future of work and the future of consultancy and that among other things. And I will publish that interview later. We will write it out. A very good friend of mine, his name is Roger Malott. He, he was a stress therapist and he, he passed away a couple of years ago. But one of the things that he's very fond of saying is that we live in a day and age where we have to be change skilled. We have to be flexible. I'm by the name of Patricia Fripp, she says there's two ways to present information. Uh, you can present um, intellectually and emotionally. You don't have to present information emotionally unless you want people to remember what you said. The same thing. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. You made her laugh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I, again, I try to make it fun. I try to make it fun. This is for a teacher how to get a free upgrade. Would you be curious? You'll use whatever you choose to. Drove 150, 150 kilometers. From where? Just to, just to see you. Why, well, Ed, too. <laughs> <And> but <laughs> All right, well, you and I know the truth. <laughs> but I just didn't. <laughs> I got to work with him for another two weeks. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm standing right, I'm right here. I'm I can hear you back. talking. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm driving back 150 kilometers now. And where's 150 kilometers from here? Sestogenbosch in Holland. Between Boston? Sestogenbosch. Oh, Sas oh okay, Den I was going to say Boston. I'm like, I if you're ever there, you have to eat a bosse bowl. Bosse bowl? Oh, yeah. that doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's, it's like a bowl of chocolate with oh. um, whipped cream inside. Oh, thank you for making it uh, entertaining. You know, really, uh, uh, we learned a lot. And uh, thank you for making it a little bit less American. And, and exactly. And what do I mean with American? What do you is, mean by I like, that? I like the wishes. I like the the interaction. I like the the emotions. Mm -hmm. I most other presentations by Americans that I've uh, participated in were a lot more overwhelmingly uh, emotional, mm. overwhelmingly get the audience in there, let's go, yes we can, that type of attitude. Gotcha. This is not really a, how do you say, mm. in Belgium we don't do these things. Yeah. <laughs> in Europe we don't do it that way. We're, kind of pick, we're picking up on that really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I thought you did a good job, you know, it, it was, in, uh, you, you it was transposed a, enthusiasm yes. to, to the group without being too overwhelming. Good. I think you, I think that's that's what, so, what, what well, I suggest. Too, it like, was, we call it over the top. Mm. Yes. Exactly. Thanks. You manage to uh, get the enthusiasm in there, you get the response of the people mm -hmm. without it being, um, uh, you know, fake. If there's a mismatch of the energy of the audience, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. lose the audience. That's true. That's true. You, you both had a very good rapport on, on, on with the audience. Oh. Uh, you manage to yeah, you get the interaction and 
I, I think most of us, my colleagues, I don't know all of them mm -hmm. uh, anymore, but um, most of them, they, they're, they're quite open to, to the suggestive talking and getting everybody with the programs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I work for Pfizer here in, in, oh, okay. in Belgium yeah. uh, at, at the production plant, and you know, you come with you know an enthusiasmating speech like this, you know, they go like, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, you know, I, I'm not awake yet. And it, they're interested. They yeah. just don't show it the way, the same way that usually mm -hmm. Americans do. Right, gotcha. and, and everybody is, you know, more outgoing, I think. I yeah. appreciate that compliment. Well, thank you. Uh, okay, well, thank I, you. I thought it was a really good one. What did you think of the event? Is it what you were looking for? Did you people get a lot out of this? I have one word for it. It was awesome. And already during the break, I heard some comments from that you were, both of you, were the best speakers that these people have ever seen in their life. They did not even know such a thing existed <laughs> that you could speak like that. So yes. Wow. I, yeah. And what do you think made it awesome? Oh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think the first, uh, the most important thing is the content. You guys have so much content. You, you put so much in three hours and there's so much more to learn, but the, the content is the most uh, important thing. And then maybe even more importantly is the way that you connect with the audience. Meaning, it, it's almost, it feels like that I'm like rebringing your presentation <laughs> in a few minutes, but your connection with the audience from the moment you were there, you were reconnected uh, with the audience, the content and the way you're bringing it uh, makes it very, very special uh, for me and, and for my team uh, members and for all the people here today. And even for management, Tom Leclerc, the general manager ICT was here today, was impressed uh, by the performance. Oh wow, I, I wrote down so many things. Uh, or one or two things stand out. Even though I heard it before, and everybody keeps on telling, stories are the most important thing, or are very important, uh, and that makes an immediate connection with the audience. And even though I know it, I keep on forgetting it. And that brings me to the second point: is that you have to practice more. I have to practice more. I have to do it more and go more on stage. Hey, Vicky. And Regina, we want to thank you so much, much for all that you guys have done to keep us moving from one city to the next to make sure all the details are there. So thank, oh, thank you, you very thank much. Thank you, thank you. It makes, it makes a huge difference and it takes significant stress off of our lives. Um, you have no idea what it's like to be in another country and not knowing what the next step is. And the, <laughs> the, the documents that you put together have eliminated all that doubt and all that stress. So we thank you very much. And for those of you who are professional speakers or emerging speakers out there, there is enormous value in the people who are behind the scenes keeping you doing what you get to do. So make sure you take care of them. All right. We'll see you. See you in the next city. <laughs> so where are we going to see each other next? Uh, London. 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 So Ed's speaking again tomorrow night here in Antwerp, and I'm going to Dublin for a day, and then we're going to meet in London. And speak that night. There you go. <laughs> the journey continues. <laughs> On the stage world tour. Woo!